treachery and evil in country. I give you Mortimer Frothingham. <laughs>
Where are you going? I'm going anywhere. Anywhere to find a time of peace and a place to lay my weary head. What's your name?
I have charge of a big old pickle factory. <laughs> Somebody else tonight. Yes, my servant is following me 
startling change in you. Nor can I fathom out why you disappeared so secretly. As if you didn't know, I ran away because you insisted on forcing your unwelcome attentions upon me. The gypsy fortune teller warned me that this villain would continue to pursue me. <laughs> Surely a working girl such as you should be whited by the affections of a man of my rank. You were right enough to say that you cared for me, while well, all along you were trying to ensnare others into your web. I know all about your meetings with Bertha, the sewing machine girl, and I have positive proof that you are married to the Nelly, the beautiful postman. You, most of us, Rockingham, are the reason why girls leave home. Uh, uh, tut, tut. Am I to blame if girls find me fascinating? I never took poor little Bertha seriously, nor have I ever married to Nelly. I don't gossip, I assure you. I care nothing about your affairs, sir. I gave up my good position at the canning factory to escape you and your kind. And now I demand that you go away from here and leave me in peace. But... But me no but, sir. Either you shall leave or I. No roof is big enough to harbor the both of us. It is up to you, my proud beauty. Mm -hmm. I intend to stay here for some time to come. Much. Must have been a 
very dull and tiresome existence. Before this new maid arrived, I wish you much joy in each other's companionship. <laughs> Well, what if they find out that I've done the job and they 
trace me here. Not the slightest chance of that. Baby has no father. No mother is in a hospital ailing. It was sheer genius on my part. To have you become so firmly entrenched in the affection of the baby's fate. That they'll never suspect it was you who stole the child. <laughs> well, I made some low-down mistakes in my time, Father Ham. But you are the blackest cook I ever saw. One more word such as that, gentlemen, and you'll regret the day that you were born. All right, all right. You got the upper hand over me now, and I'll do what you say, because I have to. But why must I stay here now? Because I need your help in furthering my present scheme. I'm sadly in need of ready cash at the present time. You'll have plenty of money now that I brought to that kid. You should know. I can't fight for ransom. Baby's mother gets out of the hospital. <sighs> and that may not be for some time to come. <coughs> you have plenty of money now that I brought to that kid. <laughs> that may be true. But until then, I don't know when my next check will be in. I don't want to get my last one back. He gave it to me. <laughs> well, I have several plans for raising money up my sleeve. I want you to keep an eye on the maid who works here. She's not allowed to leave the inn at any cost, you understand? Yeah, I understand. Is there any place to wash up around here? Your room is up the stairs and to the right. One more thing, Lon. I am posing here as a man of wealth and position. And I expect you to treat me with a great deal of courtesy. Respect. Oh, yeah, I'll remember. I'd like to get my two hands around his white throat and choke the daylights out of him. <laughs> Little does he realize that I intend to send him back to prison for the rest of his life once I am through with him. Once I have the ransom money in my hands, I'll look like a king and be rid of him forever. What am I prophet and you're riding the crest of the wave at last? <laughs>
after my long journey. You must be. You just follow me right up the stairs. I'm making up a living. 
living expenses. <coughs> yes, but what are your living expenses going to be? I don't know. You see, I haven't finished living yet. <laughs>
few weeks, my wealth has increased by leaps and bounds. You see standing before you one of the wealthiest men in the land. Oh, if you had as much gold as you had grass, you would be twice as wealthy. <laughs>
time my whole life. Oh, now I know my hour of triumph is at hand. I understand. <laughs> you finally met that one girl, but you're too shy to propose to her. Don't be, Leander. I'm sure she'll accept you. But it, it's, it's just that I... You mustn't hesitate, Leander. Women love their men to be forceful and direct. But, you know, I, I just... just I... Think hard now, one fair lady, my friend. Now tell me, do I know this girl of your dreams? Oh, oh yes, you, you know her. I thought so. There can be no doubt of it now. I won him for my own. <laughs> Leander Longfellow, I'm surprised at you. You can't expect me to propose to this girl for you, can you? Well, I, I've already popped the question a few times. It's just... What? Well, she, she said she won't marry me because she's got this secret. Now, you being a gamble, I was hoping you would speak to her and tell her how foolish she is to let one little secret come between her and me. You mean to say that you are in love? With some girl here? Well, of course. If she wasn't here, how would I know her? <laughs> What's the matter? Ain't you feeling her? Oh, it's nothing. Just a temporary pain around my heart. <laughs> I've had it before. <laughs> you sure you ain't mad at me for speaking to you about such things? Tell me, who is this girl whom you fancy you love? I don't just fancy it. I, I know it. But who is she? Speak, man! Speak! I I'm speaking. I've fallen in love with purity. <gasps> She'll discover her 
mistake when it's too late. No one shall ever come between me and the man I love. Where is everybody? Hey, sis, what's up? You sure I look ferocious. <laughs> I sure do. 
once they get the deed to this in, in my possession, I'm going to throw the Logan family out of here. And then we'll start making some real money. You mean you're going to smuggle goods across the Canadian border without paying no duty? That's right. Get a poor man around me whom I can rely on. Since this is an old and established inn, no one will suspect that yeah, we will be using it as a clearinghouse for smuggled goods. In a few years' time, we'll all be rich! <laughs>
Oh, no checks. This is a cash transaction. Oh, oh yeah. but I haven't got much cash on hand, and no way of getting it till tomorrow. Tomorrow will do nicely. Your word is all I need till then. <coughs> if you succeed in ridding this place of that scheming me, I will not only give you $1,000 in cash, but I will add a handsome bonus as well. It is well the bargain is made. Within a few short hours, Security Dean will be on her way. Yeah. 
follow this tale just as I hoped they would. Beauty Dean is doomed. Thank you. 
come now, I tell you. Come, Purity, fly away with me. I'll dress you in silks and satins and cover you with diamonds. Oh, I hear me, you think? The very sight of you brings me to loathing. <laughs> Take you if I have to carry you every step of the way. <laughs> Not the only one who has pain, I'm in misery. <laughs> 
content to lavish kindness upon her in order to gain my own ends. Would you consider it charity if I accepted your money and my promise to leave here? But of course. My dear, don't you realize what a fool you are making of yourself by spending so much time in Mr. Longfellow's company? Don't you know that everybody is laughing at you behind your back? But I... I'm far too soft-hearted to stand by and see another girl place herself in such a ridiculous position without trying to help, of course. With a thousand dollars in your possession, you'll be able to leave here and start a new life elsewhere.
I won't believe it, I tell you. Purity's pure. As pure as the driven snow. <laughs> you mean she was. But, like the snow, she too drifted. <laughs> <laughs> Never, I tell you. Purity is pure now as the day she was born. Would you still say that if you knew what I do about her? I tell you, Leander, I have discovered purity needs. You have? Hurry up. Tell me, quick. What is it then? Aha, that shot struck home. <laughs> and now to further my advantage. <laughs> she has refused to marry you all along because of the secret which she refused to divulge. I have discovered the true facts. Purity Dean, the wife of Mortimer Frothingham. And she's leaving here tonight and taking their child with her so that she may join him. What? Oh, Leander, how I dislike <coughs> being the one to deal you such a blow. But it's time that you start to face reality instead of living in that dream world that you've been occupying that maid arrived here and hypnotized I won't believe it. Purity hates Brothenham, and I have every reason to know it. She never married that man. <coughs> she only pretended to dislike him in order to win your favor. The girl is as deceitful as she is imperfect. That's enough, do you hear? I won't hear no more nonsense that tarnishes the good name of the gal I'm going to marry. Leander, do not turn your back on the one and only real friend you've ever had. I simply must find out how he feels with regard to me. Nobody can say such things about purity and stay friends with me. I never meant being unkind to the girl. It's just that I'm naturally frank and straightforward, and I find it difficult to conceal the truth from you. Why, would you believe it? Purity even accused me of having designs on you. Designs? What kind of designs? <laughs> the fatal moment is at hand. Now to test his true feelings towards me. Why? She actually accused me of being in love with you and said I was trying to win you for a husband. Isn't that silly? What? Well, I know it sounds absurd, but stranger things have happened, haven't they? Maybe, but. I ain't never heard it tell of anything funnier. Can you imagine? You and me? <laughs> the idea only arouses us is merriment. Is there no way that I can reach this man's heart and possess it for my own? I told you the idea was fantastic. Why, Purity knows she's the only gal in the whole world for me. Well, perhaps she feels that once you, she leaves here, you'll turn to some other girl for comfort. <laughs> Never. If I can't have purity, I'll die a single man. I made up my mind the very first day I ever seen her. What's the matter? You look ill. Oh, I've, I've been suffering with a terrible headache all evening. Another mistake I've made. Another step in the wrong direction. But I simply must triumph in the end. I've gone too far to turn back now. Hi, <laughs> Leander. Boys and girls want you to sing a song for them. Oh, I, I can't sing easy. But you'll have to. It's maybe one more moment until they heard you sing. dedicated to his mother-in-law, Leander. What song is that, Easy? I love you still.
car. Gentlemen, the ex-convict, how do you happen to be here? Shh, 
Who are you? An old and esteemed friend. Frothingham! I'll be blown! Silence you. Only oh, must throw in this night's work. Nobody must suspect my presence here. Well, you sure had me buffaloed. I'm going to fool everybody here tonight. Tonight we'll see the fulfillment of all my schemes. I do not know the meaning of defeat. But what are you going to do? Tonight, when old man Logan <laughs> and his wife are fast asleep in their room, I want you to steal into the room and chloroform them. And go to the safe in the room and take the deed to the hand out of the safe and bring it directly to me. Chloroform? Oh no, don't you ask me to do that. I'm not asking you. I'm telling you what to do. Once I have that deed in my possession, I shall tear up the papers and forge a new document in my name, giving me full ownership of you land in. This suspense is killing me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. 
name was Purity. You, you mean, yes, dear, we are sisters. Oh, I intended to search the world in an effort to find you, but I was taken ill. And when I returned from the hospital, I was confronted with the loss of my child. You are my sister. You never <laughs> Now you ain't got no reason to turn me down. <laughs> 